Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is about fixing the issue with Valorant while launching the game. The game is giving you a BSOD with error code ntoskrnl.exe and then you need to force restart your PC. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. Let's start with the basic troubleshooting steps. First of all, make sure if you have overclocked your CPU or GPU, turn them off because overclocking is one of the major cause behind the BSOD while playing the Valorant. And next is, head over to settings menu, choose windows update. In windows update, scroll down and you will find the option of advanced options, click on it. Now click on the option, optional features. Over here, expand windows update and driver update. From here, if any update regarding your BIOS is available, make sure you check mark the option. For example, at my end, the BIOS update is available. Check mark it and click on the option download and install and if it is not available you need to update your BIOS from your motherboard manufacturer. After updating the BIOS try to relaunch the game. If this doesn't help you fix out the issue of BSOD let's proceed with the next step. Right click on start menu and choose option device manager. Now in device manager you need to expand your display adapter. For example at my end I have first one is my integrated driver and second one is my dedicated GPU. You need to update both the GPUs and to update you need to update them from the manufacturer website. So I only use AMD website, open it and click on the option download windows driver, save it into a PC. This is an automatic driver updater, install it and launch it into your system. For Nvidia, again this is the official website of Nvidia, click on the option download now and this is also the automatic driver updater. All you need to do is to download and install this updater and then install it in your PC and this will update your graphic drivers. After updating the drivers, restart your PC and hopefully you will not encounter the issue of BSOD while playing the Valorant. If this method also failed to work out, in next step, head over to this PC, C drive and in search box you need to type in two files one by one. First one is 392.66. Here is the file. The file name is 39266 7600.dat. Once you find this file, right click and choose the option delete. Click on the option continue to provide the admin rights to deleting this file. After this file is deleted, next file you need to find is VGK boot status. Again, once the file is available, right click and choose the option delete. Again, provide admin rights. And once the file is deleted, go ahead, launch Roid client, sign in into your account and after signing in, it will ask you to update the Valorant. Go ahead, update the Valorant. Once the Valorant is updated, restart your PC and after the PC restart, relaunch the Valorant and this will completely fix out the issue of Valorant causing BSOD or causing the system to force restart. So as of now. This is all about it friends, if this video works out for you, I request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends, thank you for watching.